Hold it! Mona! Hey, you! Ah! Oh, no, you won't! Get out! Ah! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I'm here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! After the break, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. Metaphor spewing avenging badass in the ghetto? That's right. Dick Justice. Clean Sing Cleaning Products. After dirty business, come clean with us. Dial 555 Clean. That's 555 Clean. Clean Sing Cleaning Products. The choice of crime scene cleanup services. Boy! I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <sighs> and a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind, our doors are open. Hi, you've called Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. Dangerous Liaison, our girls are eager to hear from you. Interfectum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. 
When I got shot in the line of duty as a police officer, Ineffectum was all I took for the pain. Intervectum kills your pain. Intervectum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. Raconteur magazine says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. Elegance says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. Lords and Ladies continues with all new episodes. Castling Insurance Companies, because your home... Kaufman wants is taken care of. Let's just. Hey. There he is. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping Toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple, not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. Sorry. 
It's not the... There he is! It's not the same thing. I'm telling you, I understand what you're what? saying. Come on. Ah. Ah. It's not the same thing. I'm telling you, I understand what she did, but I don't condone it. The same thing. It's the same thing. It's not. I get what she did and why she did it, but that doesn't mean I think it's okay. You get it means you condone it. I understand you're an idiot. I don't condone it. It's Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fire in the hole. Run. Watch. Look out. Shoot to kill. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Now they want to clean me out. Sucker! See you in hell! Oh, crap! Thanks, fella. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. This is terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeon. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows. You know Ed the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, fair and bleak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Smiling at.
Wald. in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation. I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me, and he was watching me do it. The next episode of Address Unknown, right after the break in our Return to Sender Marathon. The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Mona had come through here, the dead cleaners a sign of her passage. 
Fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Long hours. He was terrified something would happen to me. I busted my hump. She up and left me. Ah, oh, sure. The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. Anyone I couldn't get through. <laughs> My boss busted me for drinking. Set the rat squad loose on me. Well, that was the end of that. <laughs> I blame the system. Bunch of bunch of hypocrites. in here. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta uh, protect her. <laughs> The gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. I'll cover you. For you.
They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. 
Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Funhouse is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Ah. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I had first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. and ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama! Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench, a pirate's daughter, no less, brought about his relapse. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> that and worse. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. 
You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guard set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's you! Damn. They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gotta look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Damn! Get away! We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
Mona, I missed the elevator. Cleaners on another floor ordered it. Nothing I can do. apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. Max, go back upstairs through Corcoran's apartment. From there, go to the lobby and to the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. Go to the lobby and to the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. Coward!
starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John! You must run! He's coming after you! He wants to catch you! They're closing in! John, I love you! Don't give up! I wasn't gonna give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the Flamingo on them. I ran. Check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? I don't know. For fun. The thrill of it. Like bungee jumping. Extreme sports. You know. Don't get it. Bang! Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby.
Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotion we found you out of it on Lieutenant, the... Just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me? He loves us all a bit too much for his own good. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinny Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hot spot pain? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. I wanted to talk to Winterson's witness once she was done with him. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place. But she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you.
They're taking the fall. Both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye.